Hello everybody and welcome back to some Revita 1.0. We are back again and first things first we are going to jump in and try and get ourselves a new hat here and see what we might get. See what we might have. This time we get the spiky cap. Do you know what? I'm going to go for a few more. I'm going to go for, I, I want to get one that I really like. <laughs> that one's pretty good. I want something with a bit more oomph. Like that. That's pretty cool. Let's go with the mimic hat. That seems pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to see what weapon we want. I would go sniper. We did sniper pretty recently. Um, and we'll also buy some items as well. We also have enough materials to buy an alt version of a weapon if we wish to do so. So I'm maybe thinking, so soul gun, shotgun we can't afford. We can get the orbit gun. Do you know, we haven't done an episode with the rocket launcher yet. Uh, we could get the alt version of the of the blast gun which seems like it could be interesting. I do need to have a go with the rocket launcher at some point. I still haven't used it yet. Do you know what? Let's just have a have a go with it now. I'm not a big fan of the rocket launcher, I'll admit, but I probably should at least try and get used to it. Anyways, let's have a look what we got over here. See if there's anything going on. He hasn't got anything for us. Any of these that we can buy for 12 materials. Let's have a little look. Uh, chaos tickets. Start run with randomized shard modifiers and benefits. That seems like it could be crazy. <laughs> uh, ticket machine could be pretty good. Corrupted shrines. Let, let, yeah, let's unlock the corrupted shrines. That seems pretty interesting. I like the idea of introducing more curse into our runs. We already take a lot of curse anyways, but I, I'm a sucker for it. I love more. Um, so we're going to go up to shard 7 here. Start with an additional curse. So actually, apparently the shards did get changed in the most recent patch. So let's have a little look at these. So lower HP is normal. Increased movement speed is normal. Enemies, that's normal. Um, that's normal. That's different, I think. Ah, so yeah, okay. So the, the, the waves has been moved around. And the care start is also different too but I'm, I'm okay with that so let's go with that and then we can grab ourselves one of these and let's see what else we want vampire knife times to gain hp when defeating enemies that's a good thing to start off early with increased chance to find a pickup on clearing a room is also really good um we can start with the boots enemies spawn a bunch of missiles on death that seems really fun and let's go with the strainer as well that seems good to me okay let's start her off and we'll jump in on this run with the rocket launcher. Like I said, I'm a little bit wary, especially with having lower HP to start. Chain increases slower. Um, two corrupted HP. Go for it. Corrupted HP is fine. It's not going to make any difference to us early game, I don't think. So we'll take this. And we'll just see how we go. I don't know, like I said, with the, the change sort of difficulty curve, if we're going to have a really hard time. Oh, this is a true... I didn't even think about the fact that fireworks is making this like a true missile allegiance run sort of thing i don't know how the hell you, i'm gonna find secret rooms with this thing by the way so i apologize if i don't find any that's so cool yeah this this plus fireworks is great <laughs> i love that okay i need to be a little more careful with getting hit though okay that's definitely a secret room okay so the blast radius is pretty good i just i fear for when enemies get close to us like, if enemies are getting really up close and personal, I think it's going to end up being quite difficult. Okay, we managed to get a double heal there. And like I said, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's a secret room there. Lovely. Our second secret room for a little bit of extra damage. I mean, we we already start with good damage with this guy anyways. I'm sorry, Kuro. I didn't mean to scare you. Um, orbital spin around you faster. Spawn some soul upon getting hit. Let's just go with that, because that's going to give us an orbital, I believe. Yes, there you go. It, it just gives you an orbital item if you don't already have one. So those items are, like, a lot better um, if you don't already have an orbital, really. Like, normally that wouldn't really be that worthwhile to us. I get some curse enemies here. I love the fact that the, the little missiles on death don't seem to have a range limit. Okay, nice. We got you. Get a nice amount of that. And we get a double damage. And we got a really, really good item. Increased chance for armor and an armor on pickup, too really good i think i'll play this as well i'm sort of in it for, for all of the risking my hp here I'm, I'm going for it all okay let's go let's go leftmost chest left is best okay 10 percent damage not terrible not amazing okay, i didn't even get a chance to check the secret room there we, there's a good chance we miss it here to be fair 
I will try my best to get it, but... It's just hard to actually hit the secret rooms when uh, we're kind of blowing things up as we go along here. So I might end up missing it. It's fine if we do. It is what it is. Okay, we got our shop now. We've just about got enough health for now as well. We do have a vending machine in here. Uh, we do have another full damage upgrade there. Small chance... Uh, ooh, I will take that. That's a very good item. Um... Trap's only visible. Okay, we'll go with that. And then let's take a risk. Let's gamble on this. And we got some more damage. Good. I probably should have bought the key, really, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy for more damage. So, yeah. Uh, chance for enemies to die when other enemies die is, like, incredible for us. This is a very annoying room because I want the soul. Okay, we can get our chest now as well. Hello, hello, big boy. I can't remember. Have I had a legendary chest on the first floor yet? What have we got here? Get some soul back when buying from the shop. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Make shops a little more viable. Okay, there's our secret room. We did manage to find it, so we can go to the hive floor. Let's do that. We could try and open up the, the little chest as well if we want to. Got ourselves that. I like the fact that the rocket launcher destroys those in a single hit now. That's really convenient. Okay, so we're going into this boss with low health. I never flawless this guy anyways, so don't don't go in expecting any decent plays here because I'm just bad. But the damage we're dealing is pretty insane. Like, when this thing's critting, it's doing a good amount of damage, and it's just doing a good amount of damage default anyways. Like, we've almost got him into second phase already, like... I think we were going to get him into second phase before this fight bit ends. There you go. It's just, it's a bit easier to use as well. Maybe they tweaked it since, because I, I only have used the, um... I only have used the rocket launcher pre-1.0, so maybe when it came to 1.0, it got some heavy tweaks and changed around a bit, and it's feeling a lot more approachable. I still feel like I'm in danger of hitting myself with it a lot, but, like, that can't really be helped. There you go. We've all lost him. Nice. I will try and trade away some of my HP here as well. Hey, we got a secret for that, apparently. Oh, we got loads of armor there as well. Awesome. Okay, there's some good stuff. There's some good stuff. Right. Let's go through. Destroy that. Always like going there if we can. Also, by the way, we need to finish this puzzle because now you only have to finish it once and it's finished, it's finished forever. Like, you don't have to do it every single run now, so I really need to get that done. That's something I haven't got around to doing yet, and I apologize. So, is there any items we want to get rid of? Um, probably, probably get rid of the wind-up key, to be honest. We don't need it. Um, so what we got here? So, I think this is a, a must-upgrade. This, this thing's amazing when you upgrade it. Also, we'll upgrade this and this. There you go. Okay, pretty happy with that. Considering we have a higher chance to find armor, I probably should have done... Let's just have a look at it and see which one it is. I don't, I don't have enough to upgrade it anymore, but... Uh, the Knight's Helmet. Probably should have upgraded the Knight's Helmet. It's okay. I'm pretty happy with what we got there. Let's jump on in. I do wonder what the uh, old versions of the Rocket Launcher do. I still need to complete you. You need five materials. Unfortunately, I don't have that. I thought I had enough, but yeah, I keep forgetting to complete her. I think she's just for the shortcuts, which I don't really care for anyways, but I still should try and put the effort in to uh, get that done. But yeah, now we have a, a very missile-heavy uh, run. And as our damage goes up, the missiles damage is going to go up quite a lot too. Another shield. Brilliant. But I like to see. I just want enough health to trade away at the end of this floor. Hey, we got a corrupted shrine there. So I think that's going to be... Is that just going to be one curse for one shield? Which honestly isn't a great deal, to be honest. But I think I'm going to do it. Unless it's just like a chance. It might, it might just be a chance. Would you like to embrace this offering? Yes. 
Okay, so it must be a chance. It must be a chance. That's really good, that. I like that. Cool addition. Okay, you're know, taken care of as well. We can also go to Cam Calderum as well, because um, as we saw recently, they changed it so that if you're holding the key, you can get to Cam Calderum easier. Um, decreases the number of rooms. I guess we'll take that. I'm not a huge fan of that item, to be honest, but the other one didn't seem very good either, so... Oh, that, that was kind of just me being stupid there. In fact, I'm just generally being dumb here. I'm playing against these enemies very wrong. For some reason, these, like, blobby boys don't jump until you get near them. Okay. Boost jumping with the rocket launcher is a bit risky. Okay, that's a secret room there. I thought I heard the, uh, the noise. God damn, yeah, health is looking very good right now. Very good. The items we got to start really kicked this run in the right direction, didn't it? Hey, what's what's this? Is this a new NPC? I don't recognize that icon. Maybe it's just something... Uh, I think it's the well that I recently bought. God damn that. Okay, I, I have to admit, I think I was very wrong about the rocket launcher. I think the rocket launcher is very good. I'm having a very good time with it so far. <laughs> okay, so here's the well. Deep well, uh, would you like to throw one of your relics into it? Yeah, let's just put the rusted shovel in there because I don't really like it. The blessing of the well upgraded your relic. Wait. Heck, it upgraded that relic. I didn't know it was going to do that. I thought it was going to like eat my relic. Damn, so I just, and now I've got even less rooms per floor. I don't really want less rooms per floor, I'll be honest. Because that's just less soul to be gained. I get this, this, there is a reason for it. It does make the game technically easier if you have to do less rooms, but it's like, I don't want less rooms. Let's do this challenge room here. I love these challenge rooms. Don't get hit. That's that. To be fair, that's my worst one, though. Yeah, you see what I mean by these, like, horny dudes didn't start jumping towards me until I got near them. Yeah, the rocket launch is insane. What? They must have got changed. I, I, I feel like I was very wrong about it. But we're blasting through right now. Absolutely blasting through. Okay, that's a secret room. It's very easy to find secret rooms with, too. That's another key. We're getting so many drops as well. Kind of, now I actually wish I didn't have the Corrupted Hearts. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go ham on you. Hey, we got a secret uncovered as well, nice. And the mini missiles go off. I don't know how we'll fare against the boss on this floor, though. Anger on this floor always kind of gets me. Hey, rare item. No! We don't have enough to open it. I'm dumb. That's upsetting. Very upsetting. And the, the, the irony of the fact that we have enough once it's destroyed, that was upsetting. That was definitely upsetting. I didn't I didn't even realize. Like, I think like the explosion does damage like after the the rocket has exploded too. I seem to be getting some extra damage here and there. Ooh, a celestial weapon would go very nicely with my run right now. Give me something good. Hey, more exp more explosives and more damage. Very much like that. Hey, did we not get? Did we not get the um the key room? I'm a bit confused. Like, do you know the ice door, the the, the crystal door. I don't know if I just, like, missed it. I'm not sure what happened there. I must have just missed it, right? Hmm. I'm a bit confused about that. 
Okay, so, someone has to point that out to me, timestamp it if I did miss it. If not, let me know why it didn't appear, because I don't really know why it didn't appear. Oh, dude, I got hit right near the end. I tried to dash, and the, I think the honey stops you from dashing. Well, it doesn't stop you, but it, like, reduces your dash cooldown or something, because it, did, it didn't go off. My dash didn't happen when I wanted it to. It doesn't matter too much. We didn't desperately need it. But it would be more HP to trade away. We can also offer a, a relic to you. Honestly, let's just offer this. Get ourselves some extra. Is that fire rate? Or is that shot speed? No, that's that's shot speed, I think. Which, I don't know, is that good on the missile? Maybe? Can't tell how good that would be. Leave a poison trail behind you. And the melee that shoots snowman. Let's just take both. I know this has a curse attached to it, but I don't really mind. Um, Relics for a mystery is a little rough, but I'll take it. It is a little rough, but I don't mind. Right, so speed along, speed along. But yeah, if you guys want to give me some, some hints to how to like move forward with some of the secrets as well, feel free to. As long as you're not outright spoiling things, I really don't mind people like trying to put me in the right direction, because I feel like I'm I'm not exactly stuck, I'm still working my way through the um, I'm still working my way through the, the shards, but there's clearly a few things that I haven't discovered or don't know I know a little bit about what I can do with the um, what I can do with the the crown to get to the I think it's the forgotten metro I saw it on uh, Alexis video um, why not what is this not very good. Still, it's more items as relic, for, uh, as like um, hammer fodder. Ooh, the, the chance to like kill an additional enemy is like really working in our favor a lot at the moment. It's one of my favorite items. You can clear rooms so fast without even knowing. There you go. Open that bad boy up as well. I just caught it while I was firing. Hey, even more armor. The armor's crazy. I mean, we could still go Calm Calderum this 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 time around, anyways, because we just have enough um, armor to do so, like more than enough. So I am tempted. Beautiful. Heal up. Beautiful as well. Yeah, we'll go to the shop. I know that we're uh, not great on HP right now. We've only got one to trade with, but still, that's pretty good. We can get an item for that. Duration. Duration. That is... Your bullets have a chance to confuse enemies. That seems pretty decent. And do you know what? We got some soul back for that, actually, so let's buy a key as well. We got some soul back. I like the, uh, the getting the soul back. That's really nice. Okay, so yeah, we've got to make a decision here whether we want to go Khan Calderum or not. I kind of do. It's just a bit of a shame that I missed out on the, the free way of getting there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go there. Have my shield. And then we'll take this as well. I can't remember what this is. Is this like the curse shop, dude? Oh, no, this is just like a HP trade one, which, again, I can't afford. I keep, I keep doing this. I keep going into rooms that I can't afford. And then we got our chest room, which I would have been able to afford, but now I don't have a key. Just me being silly. Oh, we got we got another chest room, though. It's fine. And it had a key in it. Funny. Yeah, so we, we, we traded away some of our armor there, but we're going to be able to go to Calm Calderum here, which I think is pretty nice. Hello, sir. By the way, I realize I, I just realized now I haven't really been using my grenade during combat that much. I really should be. It's very powerful. I mainly end up using it for the boss, as you can see here. Okay. Calm down, sir. Make sure I don't fire when I'm underneath him. That seems like a terrible, terrible idea. I love being able to jump over bosses like that. It feels so fun. Damn it. I dashed at the wrong angle there. 
It's okay, we're fine. We got wavies coming in. Again, we're losing a bit of HP here, but oh, the ice got me there. We're just at the wrong side of him. Okay, we're good. I took a bit too much damage there, I'll admit, but it's not terrible. I, mean, I don't know why I didn't get the first key piece. I'm, I'm very confused. I, I, I'm, I'm like, I just, I swear I just missed it and I'm just stupid. <laughs> it has to be that. That has to be the reason. It is the only way. I'm going to go back and check the recording as well. Right. So. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get rid of you. I don't really, I don't really care about you too much. Um, we can go for 20% on that, 25% on that. That's pretty good. Loyalty card. Toxic Guts could be interesting. Snow Lad. I think we just go with Strainer for now. And then we do a normal double upgrade on the shields. Looks dark in here. Does that mean everything, every room's going to be dark? Okay, this one isn't at least. I keep forgetting to check those modifiers at the start of rooms. They're pretty important. Ooh, we didn't scare the frog. Okay, this time, let's try and do the frog thing correctly, shall we? Oh, we got a new NPC unlock. Oh my god, that's a lot of boys. Okay, another frog saved. That's two. I didn't even realize that one was in the room. I just got lucky there. Yeah, new NPC. I'm surprised we've still got NPCs to go. It's been a while since we found one. Who's this going to be? Maybe the fisherman, because I know that's one that I haven't got. Um, listen, I like my solitude as much as the next codger, but that was ridiculous. Thanks for getting me out of there. I'm not sure who that was. Okay, don't upset the froggies. We can only offer one heart. We do get a blessed item, whatever it ends up being. Um, we got increase the damage of your bullets by a lot, but decrease the longer they exist. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to be problematic for us, but it might be. Okay, no, it seems fine. So the crystal door appeared on this floor. Yeah, the crystal door appeared here. I don't know why it appeared here and not on the last... Like I said, I, I, I keep saying it appeared here and it didn't on the other one. I'm just dumb. It definitely appeared on the other one. We're silly. Oh, what the... This room looks a bit different. And... We actually got the key piece this time. Oh, it's, it's blessed? What the hell? I didn't realize the key piece could be blessed. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Okay, I'll accept that. Okay. So we got one of the key pieces. No froggy here. Okay, so I think I've just like increased my damage completely because I don't think the, the range thing is mattering at all. Like it only, yeah. Oh, we got a secret room there. Nice. So much water. Didn't even realize there was a secret room here. Hey, mini chest. Very nice, very nice. Love the keys, especially. No froggy in this room. Yeah, I think it's because it's an explosion. We're not really getting many of the negative effects of the, the range down thing. I thought it would be huge, but like, as you can see, we're 44 damage up close, 37 damage at far distances. Whereas when we had like the SMG, it was way worse than that. Way, way worse. We've, we've come into an interesting synergistic run here. Hey, we can finally afford this this time. I have to destroy it. And we get the sun. The sun's fine. No froggy still. I doubt we're going to get enough soul in this room unless it's like a two or three wave room. Damn it, I was hoping that'd be HP. So there's no point opening that door there. Okay, so froggy room's probably next room, right? Yes, here it is. So we've, we've, we've definitely hit that now. 100%. Uh, 
There you go. We did it. Froggy room. Secret uncovered. And we got ourselves Increased shot speed. Okay. We have crazy shot speed. I think that's good. Apparently shot speed does kind of equate to range as well. Like half... Half of what your shot speed is, is your range. So we are increasing our range by doing this. Now, this is the fight I'm a little worried about. I think, for one, I just don't know this fight very well any, anyways. But I feel like this fight could be relatively difficult to not hit ourselves with the missiles. We are doing good damage, though. I will say that. This is a really cool fight, though, I will say. I really do. I think this is one of my favorite boss fights in the game. Apart from the, the, the final, final boss. Damn it. Dashed a little too early on that one. It's okay, though. As long as we don't die, which we definitely won't. It, we are killing this boss relatively slowly, though. It's not going very quickly. Thought, I thought would be way further into the fight by now, but she doesn't do... she. I say she. Why, why do I think depression's a female? It might be. But like this bit here. Can I shoot? Yeah, I can't. I had to test it. I didn't know if I'd still hit myself with my own explosion. I'm glad I found out that I would. There you go. Dead. And more armor. We're just absolutely ro- I shouldn't have healed there, yeah, let's, let's not heal. Oop, I got sticky keys notification. No, go away, I'm just trying to dash. God damn it, game. I'm just trying to dash. Right, let's go. Okay, we got two items up for grabs here, and two hearts to go for them, so I think we should take- Bullet amount five. Oh, God. And... Oh, we don't actually have a heart there. That's fine. Okay. I'm not sure if what I just took is good. Because we've increased the amount of bullets we fire, as you can see here. Look. That seems dangerous, but fun. <laughs> and also, we took it on the last floor, so now we can't actually get rid of it. Oh, God. The accuracy is terrible. Now we really are firing a lot of mini-missiles. Oh, this is bad. This is bad, isn't it? <laughs> this was not a smart decision by myself. I thought the accuracy would be a bit better than this. I mean, the damage is good. The fact that it's, like, spreading out is good. But for the bosses, I don't think it's going to be very good at all. We can upgrade a relic here. I'm going to upgrade it. I want, like, if I'm going to have bullets, I might as well have even more bullets. It better actually upgrade it, though. But then again, I suppose if it takes it off me and I don't get it back, I'm not going to be super sad, so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, plus 10 damage, 10% damage even. We need more damage at the minute, because, yeah, our missiles do a random amount. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about this. <laughs> this is maybe a bit too wacky. Yeah, I hurt myself again. Oh, God. We need a lot more shields coming our way at the minute. Because my health is going to deteriorate quickly. Give me the NPC that lets me trade... First of all, give me keys. And then give me the NPC that lets me trade away items. Because I do really need to get rid of this if I can. It's, it's like, it's so fun and so good. But it will be my demise. This room was very strong prior. And I have doomed it. And I keep losing bloody shields too. 
We will go in here and try for the final boss. But I think getting the key again would have allowed us to open this chest. Which is an, an unfortunate thing to miss. Like I said, I don't really know what's in there. But I'm sure it's some relevant piece of story. Or um, like an unlock. I just keep, keep, keep losing shields. We're getting so many shield drops before. Now we're getting none. Okay, thank God it's not don't get hit, because that would be very hard to keep. I promise on dude. My goodness. Okay, there's some shields. I don't think the um, lower damage over range is helping either. I don't think any of it's helping, but, you know. Oh, my God. Right. Unfortunately, shop's locked, yeah. So, well, we're pretty locked in with what we have right now. I'm going to say, I'd, I I think we're going to die on this boss. I think we're going to hurt ourselves a bunch. Although the damage output is good. I got hit there somehow. It's, it's mainly because I just can't bloody see what's going on. Like, I will say, if all the missiles hit, our average damage is higher. I got hit again. Just dash, you fool. Oh, my God. And again. And again. Okay. This is bad. This isn't even anything to do with the, the rockets now. It's just me playing poorly. It, to be fair, no, it is to do with the rockets. Because I'm, I'm having to position... Oh, my God. Way differently to account for the rockets. Because if I don't aim right or I'm not in the right position, they'll just hit me. So, it is the rockets' fault. Like I said, I thought we'd die to this guy. We might get through to the second phase. But second phase is not only just a harder phase for me, but also he's a smaller target, which means that we're going to have a much harder time dealing damage. That was a really bad hit. We lost all of our armor. We'll see how this goes. I'm not too convinced. Oh my god, I dived right into that. And again. I got hit three times to that attack. Three times. It's crazy how one item that's so fun can completely ruin your run. Completely. I mean, I should have known what it said bullets plus five or whatever it said. Like, I know what that item does. Oh my god. Stop throwing the saw blades, man. It's such a hard attack. And like, look how many missiles are missing. The accuracy is so awful. The damage is just so bad when he's like such a small target. Dude, the fucking saw blades. I can't even. They're so difficult. Give me any of the final boss's attacks over this guy's saw blade attack. I'm dead here, I think. Yep. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that run came to a crashing end. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one nonetheless. That was a very, very fun one. Very fun one indeed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.